Hi everybody, it's Fred Hassan with Sit Means Sit Dog Training and our video for the day. This is something I call a single double triple and I take a kennel, flip it upside down and put my dog in there to start. Alright, in this drill I'm going to have him retrieve stuff and bring it back to the kennel instead of to me and it's going to lead into a lot of things. I start with a short throw like that and back to the kennel. All right, this is still part of the single portion of the process. And now I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit more. With my hunting dogs, we'll take this out to the field, but I'm just showing you in a very close confinement so you can grasp the whole picture here. And I will throw this and have him mark it. Send him. Now I don't want him looking at me or coming back to me. I want him straight back to the spot. All right, now we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit here. Now it's to the other side. Marks, goes and gets it, brings it back. And this saves me a lot of walking. I have him drop it on my command. I have a mark to the other side. Gets it brings it back now I actually left this part in here I get interrupted here by uh, by Ashton who starts asking me something but a lot of people w might think you know you bring it back he's just gonna automatically drop it I'm, I only left 10 seconds of this the, the conversation went on for a couple minutes but you can see this dog isn't dropping this until I tell him to drop it all right so now we are picking it right back up mark to this side send him this time I'm gonna have him hold it for just a second while he comes back until I tell him to drop it and again you'll see it tell him to drop it mark another one and his head's on the object not on me and this is, now it turns into a double have him mark both send one return drop mark the other one now you see with the mountain wall we'll, we'll turn us into watching multiple decoys and all kinds of stuff uh, yes in case you're thinking the dog can bring stuff back to me <laughs> as well this is just a different picture that I'm teaching him for other reasons uh, I'll later show you videos where I'm out doing marks where I'm walking around and there's a lot more room but uh, I gotta stay in one spot here this is the triple part of the program throw one have it mark it have it mark this side and have it mark this one too Send him to the last one thrown. You'll also notice that when I have him drop this here, they stay right at his feet. And then he has to go right over it. So that works as a distraction for him as well. I don't want to hide those from him. I want him concentrating on what he has to do. On this last one here, I have him mark. And I just keep him there for a few seconds and you can see he's not concentrating on me the command is to mark so uh, the dog doesn't just look at you they do whatever the command is if the command is to mark it means to look out if the dog's looking at me it means to look at me so if you've got a dog at home and you're doing remote training and it causes the dog to just look at you and not do anything else there's uh, something wrong with the training the, the, the remote doesn't do that uh, so it's it's just the uh, the training technique and uh, now we just release him and have him play so until tomorrow hope you all enjoyed that sit me and sit